Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history, meaning, and context of the words in the English language. My name is Benjamin Lewis. Today, I'm delving into a word that must not be spoken on YouTube, a word that has gotten some channels removed and others demonetized. Not that I'm monetized at the moment anyway, but still, it's a risk. So, let's take a look into the history of the word. Gun. Noun. A device consisting primarily of a tube through which a projectile is forced at a high speed, causing it to fly straight through the air. It can also be applied to objects that physically resemble these devices, and can also refer to people that wield these weapons. History and Etymology Norse mythology speaks of the Valkyries, the shield maidens of Odin. The word Valkyrie means chooser of the slain, and these Valkyries were said to have taken warriors who died valiantly on the battlefield to Valhalla, where they would await the final battle of Ragnarok. The names of two of these Valkyries were Gunnar and Hildr. You might be familiar with these two as they make an appearance in the new God of War game just recently released. Both of these names meant something analogous to battle or war. And the combination of these two names, Gunnhildr, became a popular proper name for Norse women in Old Norse. In the 14th century, it was popular to give weapons of war feminine names. Actually, this practice was still around at the end of World War II, with the name of the plane dropping the first atomic bomb on Japan being Enola Gay, after the mother of the pilot of that plane. But at Windsor Castle in the UK in the year 1330, there was a particularly large ballista named Domine Gunhilder, or Lady Gunhilda. Gunhilda was a common name given to large ballistas and other projectile siege weapons, and presumably would be given to cannons after the introduction of gunpowder. When smaller handheld weapons were introduced using the same technology, the word was shortened by those using this technology from Gunhilda to Gona. The vowels at the ends of words like Gona or Gona are very weak and have a tendency to disappear after a period of time, leaving us with the word we have today, gun. Now, as far as the actual invention of the gun, it's credited to the Chinese, who not only invented gunpowder, but also the first device we would recognize as a gun. This was called the fire lance and was a small tube attached to the end of a lance or polearm that, when manually lit, would shoot up flames and shrapnel. Over time, the lance was removed, and it became a handheld cannon, or a hand cannon. And it wasn't until after this device was brought to Europe that the Portuguese added an invention called a matchlock that added the trigger that we identify with guns today. Field research. Gun is such a small word, yet it actually covers a whole range of things. The definition is much broader than I initially realized when taking on this word. But let's take a look at what you said when I asked you guys to define the word gun without looking it up. And I'm kind of enjoying this, but it seems like I'm getting a lot of silly answers. Here are some examples. John Rivers said, it's a series of tubes. I replied, um, so the internet is a gun? And he said, yes. Now, I thought this one from the Cozy Comfy Poetry channel on YouTube was an interesting definition. Metal that expels metal. I even got some submissions about the verb for the word gun. The God Emperor Trump on YouTube replied, full throttle. A lot of definitions even went into the mechanics of how a gun works. Like Steve on uh, Gab. 
Gun, a device typically mechanical in nature, specifically designed to expel a projectile. Subdefinition, specifically a firearm with a smooth, unrifled inner barrel. Mumberthrax on Gab. My layman definition without looking it up, a gun is primarily a weapon that emits a projectile some distance at a high speed which impacts or penetrates a target. Some tools which resemble the weapon or perform a similar function are also called gun, e.g. nail gun, glue gun. And Beta on Gab said, without looking it up, a gun is a projectile weapon that uses an explosive to function. Word probably comes from something that means a bell because it makes a loud noise and is made of metal, like a cannon. Here's one of my favorites from this category. A device imparting energy from the device to a target. Some people ran into the same trouble I did when trying to define the word and distill down the definition. Ray on BitChute replied with, Hmm, this is quite a tough one. At first I was going to say a personal ranged weapon, but I wouldn't consider a crossbow a gun. So, with combustion? Yet, that would rule out laser guns or water guns. In fact, a water gun isn't even a weapon. Also, a military ship can have heavy guns, and they are certainly not personal weapons. Devin Morales on Gab said, Well, in my work, we have caulk guns, nail guns. There are also squirt guns, hot glue guns, rubber band guns. Not sure how the term came about, but I assume it would be a device with a protruding grip. Don't think it has anything to do with the trigger mechanism. I tried to make my definition as broad as possible to fit a wide variety of possible applications for the word. I think it mainly came down to what the minimal elements of a gun are. A tube and a projectile. As simple as the early hand cannons brought over to Europe by the Chinese. Prescription and commentary. I've got a story that I think illustrates a dominant sentiment relating to guns in society today that I find rather troublesome. I was eating at a restaurant with a progressive friend of mine when I saw a man walk in through the door behind my friend. This person that came in was carrying an, a pistol on his hip, open and exposed. I asked my friend, What would you do if someone came into this restaurant with a gun and just openly exposing it on his hip? My friend responded, I would get up and leave immediately. I'm not going to patronize a place that lets crazy people with guns in. I replied, well, don't look behind you then. My friend turned and looked at the man who was wearing a beige sheriff's uniform. He said, that doesn't count. He's trained and he's a representative of the government. I wanted to reply at this point, well, we're lucky we're not black, are we? But I thought better of it because I valued this friendship very dearly. But this demonstrates that progressives and people that are, quote, anti-gun aren't really anti-gun at all. They're actually very pro-gun. They just want to limit who has access to them. They don't mind if people they view as authorities have access to these weapons, as long as the people they are ruling over don't. This attitude towards guns really concerns me because it shows the level of cognitive dissidence that a lot of people have these days, where they won't trust their one of their closest friends with a firearm, but they'll trust someone that they hate and despise, like Donald Trump, with nuclear weapons. Because they're in charge, because they're the leaders. Really? That doesn't make sense to me. I'm not the world's biggest fan of Donald Trump as the president. I'm not the biggest fan of presidents. But you're going to trust these madmen with weapons? More than your friends? More than yourself? 
it just doesn't make sense to me. On another subject related to guns, and the word gun specifically, the word, is I've heard from several YouTubers and other YouTube channels that their content has been suppressed simply because it used the word gun in the title. Most notably for me would be Tim Pool's example. Tim did a video about guns, and it had gun in the title. He claims that video only got a fraction of the viewership it normally would have. But when he changed the title to G space U space N, that bypassed whatever kind of suppression filter was being put on it, and the views took off after that. And around the time of the uh, Parkland shooting, many channels on YouTube that related to firearms and firearm safety and firearm instructional videos were suppressed and taken down. It seemed to coincide perfectly. It may have been like they said, the fact that they hired 10,000 new people to review content. But it's a little too convenient that the topic that was on everybody's lips was gun control at the moment, and these channels were the ones being suppressed. It just seems a little crazy that they would be suppressing it like this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and make sure you subscribe so that you'll never miss a word. If you're interested in contributing to my next video, please follow me on my various social networks and video streaming services so you can help me define the next word. Links are in the description below. And if you want to help support my video dictionary project, please consider becoming a patron over on Patreon or by contributing a one-time donation through PayPal. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, keep on learning.